Hi. In this video, I will tell you about the steps that you need to take to be able to use the Pimaroni Servo 2040 to build the Chica the Hexapod. All the part designs and the mechanical build of the robot is the same as before, and you can follow my previous videos for that. The only part that has a slight change is the bottom cover, which is the same design but with different hole patterns to match the new one. I've also released the new wiring diagram, which you can follow to complete the wiring of your robot. As you can see, the new wiring is so much simpler than the old one, which is one of the reasons that we are switching to this new board. Another big advantage of the Servo 2040 over the Pololu board is the lower cost. For example, this Pololu setup will cost you around $140 to buy today, while you can get all the components for the 2040 setup for under $30 which is a huge difference. The wiring diagram is pretty self-explaining, so I won't get into the details on that. But there are two important points that I want to mention. Here I'm using a 5 volt relay, which is what I had and works. But if you're going to buy a new relay, get one that works with 3 volts, since that's the logic voltage on this board. And make sure to power it from the 3 volt pin, instead of the 5 volt. Also, don't forget to cut this trace on the back of the board to separate the USB from the external power. Otherwise, you will damage the USB port of the phone. Now, onto the software part. One advantage of the Servo 2040 over the Pololu board is that it is open source, meaning that we can write our own firmware and potentially do all kinds of low level optimizations in the future if we want to. So we had to define our own protocol and write our own firmware for it to work. And this is where Eddie from my Discord server comes in. Eddie is a principal embedded software engineer based in San Diego, who wrote the firmware and helped me test the code and debug the issues during the past few months. And he did it completely out of his own interest and at no cost. So a big thank you and respect to Eddie. You will probably hear more about him in the future as we have plans to collaborate and take this project to the next level. And I think this is the right time to mention that a ton of advanced engineering and long working hours has gone into building and upgrading this project, which is available for free for everyone to build and enjoy. So if you like what we do, and if you can, consider supporting us by becoming a patron. All the fundings will directly go into the future upgrades and other interesting projects. The first step for setting up the software is to flash the firmware on the Servo 2040, which is pretty straightforward. Download the firmware from the link on the main GitHub repo, or directly from Eddie's repository. Connect the board to your computer, then press and hold down the reset and boot buttons on the board at the same time. Once you release the buttons, the board will appear as a storage device in the computer. And all you need to do is to copy the downloaded firmware into the storage device. The next step is to install the upgraded Chica server app from the Play Store, which is the same as before, but I will go over the required steps in more details here. In the Play Store app, search for Chica server and install the app. The same app works with both Pololu and Servo 2040 boards, and I will keep supporting both boards going forward in the future upgrades. Once the app is installed, do not open it. Instead, plug in the USB cable and let the app launch itself. In the permission request pop-up, select the check mark and press OK. If everything goes as planned, the robot should do the initialization animation. Also check the config on the main app to make sure it matches the 2040 pin configuration. 
you can find a copy of the new configuration on the GitHub repo. And don't forget to update the app with your servo calibration values. Installing the remote app and connecting it is the same as before, and you can watch the previous videos for that. Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the new upgrade. Also pay attention that both of the apps are still in alpha stage and potentially have some bugs and rough edges here and there. So any feedback and bug report is very welcome and will be helpful to help refine the apps over time. And the best way to report bugs is to open an issue on the GitHub page. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.